Moment of truth. Does the back of the combine come off the ground? Morning. So this morning, we're unloading a new corn head. And it's pulling in right now, so I guess we better get to it. Here it comes. It's in that, it's in that trailer somewhere. There you go. Just gotta hope that the uh, the head is not pitched too far forward because this one does not have lateral tip feeder house on the combine. Looks like he's gonna have to get the trailer over a little bit, maybe though. First time she's been picked up. Oh yeah, the combine's that's a little light in the back, but it's still on the ground. You're a little light. Is it? Yeah, when you picked it up, there ain't much of the tire on the ground. So we don't have a fold switch for this yet. Kind of waiting on one of those. Once we get that, we'll unfold it. Make sure the head's ready to go. This is a brand new head, it's never been in any crop, so I'm sure we got to look over some stuff, but yeah, there it is. That's what we're going to be running. We're going to be running a 12 row Capella folder on our gleaner. This head is just like the 12 row folder we have for our cloth head, only uh, eight years newer. So last year we ran a Capella Diamant as a demo head for a couple hundred acres. Really liked it. But as we're not chopping with our corn head, that, that corn head is more towards more designed for a chopping corn head the way it was explained to me. We went with this, it's a little bit lighter. We knew running the gleaner that would probably be, you know, a good thing. Yeah, I think we'd be happy with it. We've had really good luck with our Capella headers. Uh, Capella also makes the units for cloth heads, so we've been around their products for, well, since 2005. What do you think? Well, there it is. Paint doesn't match quite. It's close. Looking through our parts here, we got a switch of some kind. Hopefully that's a fold switch, but we don't know yet. We might have to read. It's not our strong suit. Look at that book. I got your spray. All right, so in future episodes, we'll be messing with that head, but today it's going to rain here this afternoon. Dad's trying to finish spraying double crop soybeans, and I've got to go to hand therapy. I was supposed to have hand therapy this morning, but I got a call that that was pulling in, so I had to reschedule. And then hopefully we'll find an air-conditioned job in a tractor somewhere. It's supposed to be about 95 and humid. Very, very humid. Maybe it's supposed to be 90. Either way, it's hot. All right, got back from therapy. It is 92 degrees and very humid. So we're going to hop in the bush hog tractor and go mow. It's easier to drink coffee when you're in the air condition. Okay, so first thing we're going to mow, we're mowing this rye field. This is what we were spraying the other day. We're going to mow down the stubble and the weeds that are growing, and then we're going to eventually put some uh, some radishes in here. And then, yeah, we're going to go over the bins, mow that. But yeah, I wanted to get this knocked down first. Now the other rye fields, BJ mowed them about oh probably two weeks ago. But this one had a lot of Johnson grass in it, so we wanted to kill it. And I think Dad ran the sprayer through here a couple days ago. What's that? That's my new Ariat Spitfires. 
Spitfires, Spitfighters, I think they're Spitfires. I think that's the name of them. Anyways, there's a link in the description of those. If you didn't know, we are affiliated with Ariat. So basically they let me try out some boots and uh, shoes and whatnot. I picked these things for kind of like a summer boot or like something to wear while I'm wearing shorts or like a dress shoe. And they're awesome. Plus you get a look at my, my, my leg. Showing a little skin, but. Check those out if you're looking for something like a tennis shoe, but want some leather to protect your foot. Yeah, I, I like them quite a bit. Our county fair is going on. I walked around all day in them yesterday. No complaints. I'll probably be ordering more. Everybody. So we did have some bob cam footage and uh, something happened with his mic and none of it had sound so I used his camera just a minute ago that's the clip you just seen and it was working for a second and it quit working again so I guess either this camera or that mic is junk but anyways none of his footage was usable none of it had any sound so we're just gonna discard it I guess but uh, I posted this uh, a picture of our of our cornhead on Facebook and Instagram the day we received it so if you're not following us there check us out Brian's farming videos and you'd already know what we had coming but anyways a couple questions came up whenever I did that one of them was are we going to run both 12 rows in corn because we still have the folding 12 row for dad's cloth combine and now we have the new folding 12 row for for the gleaner both of them are Capella Quaystars I believe is how you say it anyways it's a possibility, but right now we are extremely short-handed. So going into harvest, it's just going to be my dad, my brother, and I. So realistically, we need we need five people to do that. We need two people trucking, a grain cart man, and both both of us in the combine. Even then, we'd still be kind of in a little bit of a logistical nightmare on some of the farms. The farms close to the bins, we could probably get it cut. Uh, but more than anything, it'll probably be like if something happens to one combine, we'll use the other one. Stuff like that. Or if one combine's on one end of where all of our farms are and the other one, I mean, it could, I don't know that they'll both be used together. But anyways, we are looking for some fall harvest help. So if you are qualified to drive a truck, you do not need a CDL, but I don't want to train someone to drive a truck. So I, I need someone that knows how to drive a truck. Ideally, we would be looking for someone who is retired as either a truck driver or a farmer is used to um, kind of a chaotic schedule. The idea that we would like to have someone that already knows how to drive, I uh, don't mean to sound like a butthead or anything, but um, if you don't know how to do those things, please don't waste our time. It's just getting really close to crunch time and we need to find somebody. So I will read all the emails I received. There is an email, uh, my farm or my YouTube email in the, in the description of this video. I'll read all of them. If I don't respond to you, please don't take it personally. I just, um, either we already found someone or I just didn't think you were a good fit. But I will read all of them. So if you're in the immediate area, someone, ideally someone close, and you think this sounds interesting, shoot me an email. Uh, I don't think we would be able to give you a full-time position 365 days a year, but we could definitely use someone from September into September through probably early November. But thanks for watching folks. We do have a special guest in the upcoming video. It'll probably be out either tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. We also have a couple other things coming for the Gleaner. So let me know what you think those are. In fact, one of them got delivered the other day and the other one's getting delivered in a couple weeks. So I think it's gonna be well outfitted for harvest. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to try the Gleaner in corn. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.